Welcome, this is Drew Code Sports Talk. I am your host, Andrew Wright. Over here is my co-host, Cody Johnson. Cody, this segment we are going to be talking about, not basketball, we're going to be talking about baseball. We're going to be talking about our power rankings um, of, well, two months of baseball so far. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to talk about our top seven. We're not going to go over the whole you know, 30 teams. So, we're going to only do um, our top seven. We're going to go from seven all the way up to one. Uh, Cody, I'll let you go first. Who okay. is your number seven team? And so, number seven, I've got the Orioles. Um, the, the reason why I got them there is because they're starting to come along. They've got a really good record. They're trying to keep pace right now with the Yankees. Um, I just think that their pitching needs to improve a little bit, although Bundy is really doing tremendously. Machado's having a down season, but I think he'll turn it around come the All-Star break. I got the Dodgers at number six. They've kind of lost and won a couple of games here and there since our last video about them, but they're still looking strong. When you got Clay Shaw, you've got a chance, and then uh, Cody uh, Billinger is doing really well. Their hitting is still up there. Um, the Yankees, the, the Bronx Bombers are back. They just seem to hit, and their pitching is the only thing that worries me. It's very consistent. Tonight, Tanaka actually pitched a really good game even though they lost, but What's, what's scary is that their pitching can be inconsistent. I mean, and there they're, you don't even have their closer right now. Um, he's still in the 10-day DL. So they're trying to basically outscore runs between teams and stay afloat. Four, I've got the D-backs. Um, they are one of the top teams right now in the NL. All, all three of the NL West teams right now, at least the top of them, the Rockies, Diamondbacks, and Dodgers, are the top teams right now in the NL. Um, and they're just making great strides. I like the Diamondbacks, so I think their pitching is still kind of worrisome, but their hitting is phenomenal, especially with uh, Paul Goldschmidt. Man, that guy is tearing it up right now. Three, I've got the Colorado Rockies. Um, they've got tremendous hitters. Um, their pitching is coming in strong. Believe it or not, they're actually doing really well as far as team ERA is pretty low. Um, then you got the Nationals at number two. I love their pitching, especially Strasburg and uh, Scherzer. No, no. Scherzer. Scherzer. And then Bryce Harper, can't talk enough about that kid. And then you got Zimmerman tearing it up. And Daniel Murphy, which I think he's getting totally overlooked this season. He's one of my favorite players, and he's always consistent. Number one is the Astros. I'm a little biased to this, though, because our farm team, the Fresno Grizzlies, is the, uh, is the AAA affiliate to them. However, though, I don't think it's a coincidence that they're this successful either, considering that the Giants were very similar how successful they were when we had them as the affiliate. And I truly think it part of it is a farm team, but they've got tremendous hitting. Their pitching is 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 doing really well, and that's why I believe that they're the number one AL team right now, the number one team in baseball, even over the Nationals, which I actually, you know me, I really like the Nationals, but Astros to me is the top team right now. Yeah, when I when when we were first thinking of this question, I really thought that the Nationals were going to be your number one. So I'm actually kind of surprised you said Astros. Um, yeah, mine's pretty similar. Uh, I have Orioles at number seven, basically because your best hitter, your best player on that team is only hitting 218. Um, he does lead the team in home runs with 10. Um, but right now, I mean, they're getting lucky. Dylan Bundy is having a great year. Um, He's a huge surprise. He's what they really wanted. He's really become an Orioles ace. Um, but all, having said all that, your your best hitter in in terms of batting average is Jonathan Shoup with a two sixty nine batting average. You're not going to win too many games doing that. Uh, right now you might be, but come towards like the AL wild card or. Um, or trying to get into the postseason, whether win AL East or, like I said, the wild card, um, I think it's going to fail them, and I think it's going to fail them miserably. So um, Orioles are going to have to get better in basically all phases if they're <laughs> going to want to win. Um, number six, I have the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, I know you can look at the record and go, you got to be kidding me, Andrew. You're ridiculous. You're a Giants fan, and you brought them down a notch. No. I actually do like Arizona. I really like Paul Goldschmidt, like what you alluded to. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, 
is like my hero. He's the player that you always want. And he's so overlooked because of a Mike Trout, because of a Bryce Harper, uh, because of maybe a Nolan Arenado who just makes diving plays on third base every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, but Paul Goldschmidt steals bases, which no one ever talks about. Right. He actually leads Arizona uh, as a team in stolen bases with 12. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard that in the ESPN yet? No, you have not. Um, he's hitting 324. He's got 11 home runs. He's got 37 ribbies. Give me a reason why you don't like this guy. Like, mm-hmm. tell seriously, I, I cannot find it. Um, he's an incredible player. Zach Greinke actually is a surprise to me this year. His ERA is a lot lower than I think it actually should be. Oh, a lot of season left, though. So <laughs> exactly <it> breaks. <laughs> But he's having a good year, which is good for Arizona, but he's still too inconsistent. Uh, a lot of their starting pictures, like a Robbie Ray uh, or in, in Taewon Walker, they just, they're just they very too inconsistent. Sometimes when they're great, they're great. Mm-hmm. And when they're bad, they are really bad. So um, that's why I have them lower, because I still do not trust their, their pitching. Their hitting is outstanding. Their lineup is great, and it's gotten better. Um, and AJ Pollock has been a nice, uh, a nice uh, leadoff player for for Arizona. So, um, number five, I have the New York Das Yankees. <laughs> and sorry, I just wanted to make him laugh. Um, <laughs> the top hitter, Aaron Judge. The guy is killing baseball. All rise for Judge. All rise for the Judge. He has his own section in New York already. In Yankee Stadium, the kid's only played for not even a year yet. Mm-hmm. So he's he's hitting the ball well. A lot of people look at a uh, look at a power hitter and they go, well, you know, he's not going to really hit for 300. He's hitting 315. He has 15 home runs, which leads the team and is actually tied for first in the majors. Uh, 30 RBIs, which leads his team, and he's actually got four stolen bases. The guy is doing it all, and he's got an on-base percentage of 420. That's, That's incredible. And it's incredible for a guy that was coming in, and they were saying, this kid strikes out a ton, he doesn't walk a lot. Oh, I guess they were wrong. <laughs> Michael Pineda has been their best pitcher, um, but the issue with him is he's way into consistent. Yeah. He didn't need pine tar this year. Yeah, that's that's what's really <laughs> impressive, as he hasn't done this all year. So, um, the Yankees I really like. I think they're a little too young mm-hmm. uh, to do stuff, and they got a lot of inconsistencies in pitching specifically. I like Tanaka. He's probably the best pitcher in my opinion. Uh, but Pineda, number wise, have has been has had the best year. Uh, Severino, I believe. Um, yeah. He has had a, a pretty decent year, um, and he's getting a little bit better, which is really nice. He's real young though, too, so he's yeah. he's still trying to form into what he wants. Because he he'll like I think just his last game he threw he went seven innings. I think he did nine strikeouts, and then the but the uh, the game he threw before that he only lasted four innings and gave up six earned runs. Yeah, so, so he he's he's got a learning curve here and there, um, and then you have. Uh, CC Sabathia, he's been doing it forever, and he's just way too inconsistent. Mm-hmm. He, he just sometimes he's he's on it, some a lot of the times he's not. Yeah. Um, so number four, I have yes, I know the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now everyone's gonna look at them. They're third place. Andrew, give me a break. Why do you keep doing this? Because mm-hmm. I actually do think that this team is better than those teams that I mentioned. They have the veterans, they have the young talent, and they have a lineup, rotation, and bullpen that can get get it done. Now, their bullpen is their Achilles heel. Because if you cannot get to Kenley Jansen, if you don't have Clayton Kershaw every week or every day mm-hmm. going eight <laughs> innings, it's a little bit more difficult for the Dodgers mm-hmm. to actually win. So with like a Pedro Baez, as we uh, discussed last week, um, Justin Turner is killing the ball. He's mm-hmm. got a sub 400 batting average right now at 379. I mean, that's why he's my number one. You could easily say Cody Bellinger. You could easily say Corey Seager. Cody Bellinger is killing the ball. And he actually leads the team in home runs. A rookie leading his team in home runs yeah. is impressive in itself. And he hasn't even, Who hasn't even all started. Season. Yeah, he didn't even start this year. So, uh, but I, I have Justin Turner as it just because of his batting average, honestly. Um, and then obviously Clayton Kershaw is their best pitcher. 
they're my dark horse. I, yep. I feel like the Dodgers could make it into the World Series. Do I think they're going to win the NL West? I still believe it. Yes, I do. Um, you know, who knows? There's, like you said, there's a lot of baseball left. We have no idea. Uh, my number three team, I believe. Yes, number three. Colorado Rockies. I hate saying it. I, I, I don't hate it as much as I hate saying the Dodgers, but... The Rockies are killing. Yeah. The Rockies are a surprise team. Now, they have a great lineup. And, again, probably, you're probably already tired of me saying it, I don't like the starting pitching. Yeah. The rotation, to me, is too inconsistent still, especially when you pitch in Coors Field. It's tough to keep the ball down. Right. Um, but Charlie Blackman, uh, we just before we even started the videos, he was a double shy of the cycle. Mm-hmm. Charlie Blackman is completely um, overlooked right? Uh, because you have a Nolan Arenado. Mark Reynolds is having a great year. right? Um, Carlos Gonzalez has been there forever. He's always a, a good player. He finally just got out of a slump. Right. Uh, Trevor Story is really great, you know, to them and all that. So, there's, you know, they have a lot of guys. Um, Antonio sends to Tella. I don't know how to pronounce the name, honestly. Usually that's I'm pretty first. good at that. He's yeah. usually telling me usually I'm pretty good it. about them, but um, he's had a really good year. I don't think it's going to last. I don't. Uh, it, it's tough. In, 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 well, baseball is tough, but also in Colorado and in Coors Field, it's just really tough, especially in the division they're in. I don't think it's going to last. I think once All-Star break comes in, uh, you're going to see Colorado Rockies. You're going to see the true team who they are. And that starting pitching is going to fail them. So my number two team are the Washington Nationals. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman and Bryce Harper are crushing the ball. Uh, whether it be home runs or, or batting average. Um, like I've said before, Ryan Zimmerman is not going to stay at a 362 that he is right now. Mm -hmm. He's probably, he could keep it at a 300, maybe a little bit lower, which I think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the rest of the year he's going to hit 280. Um, does that mean he's going to go, you know, sub 300? Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but um, he's not going to kill the ball like he's doing it right now. Bryce Harper, on the other hand, is a different kind of animal. Mm -hmm. And he's the kind of animal who could keep this up. Yeah. And that's scary. When you have one of the best players in baseball crushing the ball like he is, it's it's scary. And especially on a team like he is on, it's even more worrisome. Yeah. Because you have Zimmerman. You talked about uh, Murphy. Mm -hmm. We forget about Trey Turner, who is super fast. Yeah. You forget about Jason Worth. You have you uh, mentioned Max Scherzer and Steven Strasburg. Mm -hmm. Gio Gonzalez has one of the top ERAs in the game right now. Yeah. So the Nationals have an incredible team. My issue with them is their bullpen. And I know everyone's like, oh my god, dude, get over all these pitching. But this year has been a hitter's year. Yeah, It's been all about the hitters, um, and bullpens really matter. As a Giants fan, I know that all too well. Of um, the bullpen really matters when it comes to the postseason. You have to have a decent bullpen at least. Their bullpen scares me. It's not really consistent, but they have so many good starting pitchers um, that they could cover that up pretty well and and make a run at this thing. Mm -hmm. My number one team, though, like your number one team, are the Houston Astros. I like this team because it's not filled with superstars. Mm -hmm. Because what happens when you have a ton of superstars on a team, like I will say with the Nationals, now I'm not saying they're bad or they're a terrible team, but the Astro when you have the Nationals, you rely on those star guys. Mm -hmm. And when they're not playing to their part and everyone has a bad game, when they're not playing to their potential, that's where you have an issue. Bryce Harper completely was held up during when the Giants played him, I remember. Mm -hmm. Bryce Harper was crushing the ball. No one else was hitting for the Nationals. And it sucked for the Nationals because Bryce Harper was killing it. The best player on your team is killing the ball. He's killing this team that's beating you every single game. Mm -hmm. And it was I, I felt really bad for Harper because he was trying so hard and no one else could be at his level. Mm -hmm. When that happens, when you have a star when you rely so much on a star player uh, things tend to unfold 
uh, in a negative way. With the Astros, you have a Jose Altuve who's killing the ball. We also have Carlos Correa. And the kid is phenomenal. I just want to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, Marwin Gonzalez, who is quietly uh, hitting the crap out of the baseball. I mean, he's got a, some of the, I think he's in the top 10 in home runs in the in the league. Mm -hmm. uh, you have Josh Reddick, who's, who's a, a good contact hitter. Um, they have Alex Bregman. They have a lot of young guys, but they also have Dallas Keuchel, who was pitching really well until he went on the 10-day DL. So, and they have a great rotation. I actually really do like their bullpen. This team right now, to me, is, in my opinion, going to the World Series, mm -hmm. and they have a championship mentality team. Now, does that mean they're going to win it? No, because we're not there yet. When there's still a ton of baseball, right. like we keep saying. Uh, but my favorite team right now, well, obviously it's the Giants, <laughs> but um, but my favorite team going into the postseason is going to be the Astros. I, I really am excited to watch them. Every time I get a chance to watch them, mm -hmm. you can ask Brad uh, when we're at work if I know that I, I can watch the Astros game, I will put it on just because I like watching them. They're yeah. a fun team to watch if you love baseball. Yeah. I can't disagree, with, obviously, with that, uh, respected to your opinion. Uh, we each had basically the same three teams in the top three order. It's our four to seven that we're kind of little yeah. jumbled up a little bit, but it's all pretty much the same thing consistently. I mean, the Nationals are either number one or number two when it comes to any major hitting category, which is uh, batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage. The only thing is like what you're talking about, they're pitching. They're 19th in the majors right now when it comes to Team ERA, um, which is not very good. If you're a top hitting team, you've got to have some sort of pitching that backs it up. And when you're in the bottom tier, that's not very good. But the Houston Astros, they may not be the best hitting team, but they're seventh, uh, or excuse me, second in ERA. So that's the big difference here. I mean, to me, that's making a bigger difference between Nationals being number two to number one for the Astros for me. And we actually talked about this the other day about um, pitching seems to be down in terms for the hitters this season. And we were just talking about it uh, just a second ago too. In our fantasy leagues, I feel like that pitchers aren't doing that well anymore. I don't know who I want as a pitcher, but man, there's a ton of hitters I'm picking up left and right if I need them to because it's a hitter year it seems like. Yeah. So anyways, it's Absolutely. great time for baseball and I'm just really excited for the Astros because last year they were real hot, cooled off after the All-Star break and I'm hoping they maintain this because like you yep. said, they're a fun young team to watch. So. Absolutely. I could not agree more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is Drew Code Sports Talk. And also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That is also Drew Code Sports Talk. Thank you.